Good day, my friends. How are you? So I've been building the Dragon SDK of Z10 off speed, and I got it built. I've still got to put the seats in, so I've got to build the seats. But they look pretty cool, don't they? That um, leather work or whatever it is, the seat work looks pretty cool. But yeah, it's coming along really good. It's like it's a little bit wonky. Like I made a few mistakes. And this is one of the harder kits I've ever built. You can see here, I've, I've, it's made all wonky. And this is on a bit of an angle, like that way. Because I put this in wrong. So I put this one front part here in wrong, this dashboard thing, and it sort of put the whole thing out. And um, you can see the little gap there. But, you see the other side fits perfectly. So it does go together if you don't make mistakes. She's come up really cool, eh? And I've gone with a bit of a um, rustic look. So she's going to be in 1942. And I've got a cannon for it from Mini Art. And I had to redo the rear toe cape thing here. Because they had this big fat one in there. But the hole for the mini art pack 40 is like only 10 mils uh not no, not 10 mil one mil so i put in a 0.8 mil wire and that fits awesome so if we just go over like that put that in Duh, it's really solid and it moves around it's, it's really cool like that and it goes on properly, so you can get that sort of proper look there. But this isn't built yet, this is still off, so that's not in its proper position. It goes like something like that, and sort of stays up a little bit. But yeah, I really um, achieved this effect pretty easily, so uh, all I did was base it in um, some German red brown and some darker sort of uh, use some dark uh, train colors sort of thing like uh, dark reddish train colors uh, rust oxide sort of look and then what I did is I used this Abtylon liquid mask which is actually pretty good this stuff I really like it and um, it says it only works with water-based paints but I've had no trouble at all with lacquers hasn't given me any problems at all and you can see it does it works really well but you see what i did is i um you know dab this on as best i can and then um, i came along with a tool this tool here after it and with this stuff when it's it dries you can actually move it around which creates that more um i suppose sharper angles because if you just paint it on and do it straight you tend to get a lot of, uh, I don't know, roundish sort of looks because you've painted it on. I don't know if there's any examples if I fixed it all up. Um, it's just there, I suppose. You sort of see it looks a bit round. But there, I sharpened it, sharpened it up. Yeah. I think I fixed <laughs> everything up. I think I went around and went mad and just did it all. You see, that doesn't look the greatest thing. That could have had some sharpness in it. But that's what I did there. And then I just um, spray painted some different greys on it. Some darker greys. So, I, you know, some dark RLM. I think it's uh, some RLM dark grey thing. And then I used basalt grey as well. And some really light grey. Um, another RLM colour. Come up really nice. Um, but I'm also, so after I did that, then I just gave it a uh, a blue filter by AK, which is pretty good. I don't know if I can find that. I've got so many things. Anyway, I used this uh, filter. It's a blue filter by um, AK. And that sort of, um, you know, made it colder and a little bit darker. So I brought the darkness back. And now, you know, I'll just start to add some dirt. I'm getting some pretty cool effects with these um, 
resin mixes I'm making here with uh, just normal pigments and I've got um, some texture paste which is a really thick artist paste you can buy at artist stores and then I've also mixed it in with this really good thing here by liquid text which is a matte medium you can create this really cool um, like um, pigment goo like that and it's sort of really thick see how thick it is and because it doesn't dry that quick and stuff you can really um, you know dab it on and get the water into it and really move it around and create really cool effects with it I found like um, I'll just move this out of the way one second you can see here I've done it really subtly on the tracks there giving a real and you can see the difference see that hasn't had any and you see how it's really sort of darkened it down a bit I'll have it in bracket now in bracket and then you can see in there I've started to add sort of the first layers of dirt and I've just sort of put some of that you know goo in so different mixed different colors so I mixed it all in and you know dabbed it on and then I got the water and then just sort of moved it around and it creates I don't know it's starting to create a good effect Let's see what this one came out like see I can go again but yeah as you can see there it's more advanced it starts to come up pretty cool, doesn't it? But then you can go really subtle like this on the tracks here. You know, just dab a little bit on and then just wipe it back off again with the water. But, it, you know, pigments are staying in there. But anyway, that's just, you know, you, you always got to muck around. Have a good time and just try different things. But anyway, I'm just yeah, showing you how... It's come along and this is possible to build. So this kit is possible to build. As you can see there, it's built. It's all together. I've just got to put the seats in and some guns and stuff. And then you can put the crew in. And also, I took the driver's feet off. So with the feet off, we can get him in there. And you can't see his boots. It's all really dark down there, so that'll work. And so we'll try and get him in the seat, you know, as best as we can. I might file the back of his bum off a bit, just the back up here, so we can get him into the seat a bit better. And then we'll put his arms on, and I'll put his, um, no, I'll put the steering wheel in his arms, and then you can stick him in. I reckon that'll be best. And then I'll see if I can fit another guy in the front seat but that's got an even smaller space in there. And then we can fill the rest. It'll be really cool. Anyway, my friends, I hope um, you like the half track and I'll speak to you again soon. So yeah.